So this is my first time ever camping. And we're supposed to get up really early tomorrow, like three o'clock. So I'm gonna go to bed. I was really nervous going into this weekend. Not only was it my first time camping, but it was my first time doing an intense full day hike. I spent the weeks before this trip making sure I'd packed everything I'd need, getting advice from others who'd climbed Katahdin before, and making sure I was in shape. Ish. By the way, some of these videos were taken by Emily and used with her permission. That's her waving. After this, it'd be great if you could check out her channel. Since we didn't have a reservation for the trail we wanted, we had to wait in line to get a spot once the gates opened. What do you guys think? Are we ready? Yeah! One ready. <laughs> While we were waiting, we'd been told there was no chance of getting the trail we were hoping for. Yes! It just so happened that luck was on our side. We did it! We got into Abel! <laughs> What'd you say, Philip? I said we made it past the gate. Oh. <laughs> well, we don't need none of that negativity here. When we arrived at the trailhead, we did a final assessment of our bags and took care of any last minute things, took a group pic, and hit the trail. The Abel trail started out pretty flat, then became more like climbing stairs, which I'll admit I was not in the best shape for. In total, our hike was going to cover about eight miles round trip of mostly strenuous hiking and take around 10 hours to complete. Katahdin is the tallest mountain and highest point in Maine. It's also the northern end of the Appalachian Trail. The Penobscot is named at Katahdin, meaning greatest mountain. Look at that view. That's crazy. That's awesome. We made quite a few stops to either add or take off layers of clothing and to catch our breath. Whenever I had enough energy, I would go ahead of the group since so far it had taken me a while to catch my breath and I didn't want to hold anybody back. I actually found it easier to climb up the boulders since it was more about being strategic and climbing at a slower pace. So I don't know exactly what happened. We're at the part where there's big boulders um, all at the top. I was like winded the whole way going up and then once it hit the boulders I just got like a second wind. I don't know I just kind of took off. So I've been up here a little while and Still no sign of the rest of my group, so hopefully they'll come along shortly. <laughs> Let's go girls. Da, 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 da. While I was waiting, I struck up a conversation with a dad and his son up here hiking. So that was fun. You never know who you're gonna run into, make friends along the trail. The rest of the group eventually caught up, though someone felt they needed to turn back, and the other group leader decided to go back with them. Hello. Hey. <laughs> we finally reached what was the false summit. Because it had taken us so long to get this far, we weren't sure we were going to make it in time to get back down the boulders before it got dark. It was so frustrating, 
seeing the peak and not knowing if we were going to make it. We decided to keep on going and see how far we got in an hour. If we weren't at the top or close enough, we'd turn around and go back. We're gonna make it, guys. <laughs> I am so happy. <laughs> I made it. I made it. You made it. Uh, you made it. End. There's, there's no end. End just then the sun comes out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We made it! And that is called Knife's Edge. I think we're good for now. We'll try to aim for that another day. We made it to the top of the boulders as the sun was setting, which meant we only had about an hour before it was dark. Most of our hiking back was in the dark, and it seemed like it took forever. We finally made it back in a little after 10. The next day, we grabbed another pick with the rest of our group, who had hiked a different mountain the day before, and went to explore the ice caves. This hike was more of a casual stroll through the woods. It kind of reminded us all of an enchanted forest with all the moss-covered rocks and trees. Guys! Oh, we're here. That's oh why we stopped. Oh my word! So survey says, Keith, you go first. Hey, I was gonna go. caves were pretty cool. Not a ton of ice, but still cool. A few more scenic views wrapped up our trip. I'm so glad I didn't let my nerves or the fear of being a novice keep me from hiking Katahdin. Overcoming obstacles seemed to be a common theme throughout this trip, not just logistical, but also personal ones. Emily's feet started to go numb from the cold 15 minutes into the hike. We knew this might be an issue and took the necessary precautions and made adjustments as needed. In the end, she proved wrong those who doubted her ability to hike to the top. Sean survived a major health scare this time a year ago and has since worked hard to achieve personal goals and move beyond past physical limitations. And Elizabeth struggles with claustrophobia, but didn't let her fear stop her from climbing into the caves. The moral of this story is, whatever you're trying to accomplish, don't let obstacles stand in your way. <laughs> what? Snowing. What? It's snowing. It's snowing. Yeah, I just saw it. No.